Well, I wanted to continue our discussion on omega-3s and the Mediterranean diet. And specifically today, I wanted to get into how it relates to our immune system and how it allows our immune system to function better. You know, everybody's kind of getting sick these days. You know, it's kind of that time of year and there's a lot of stuff going around and everybody's wanting to know how they can get their immune system stronger. And if there's ever something that we should try to get under control, as if you look at the healthcare of America, if there's something that's that really needs to be addressed, it's our immune function. You know, our immune system deals with all these allergies that everyone suffers with, all these infections that that have gotten antibiotic resistant, and all the autoimmune diseases. All of that sort of deals with our immune system. And so people don't really think about how dysfunctional the average person's immune system is today. Autoimmune diseases are such a problem in America that no one but me seems to really be talking about or addressing. Immune, immune, autoimmune diseases are getting, are getting very, very common. You know, if you look at, you know, everybody, everybody wants to look at like, what are the top killers? Everybody thinks of heart disease and cancer. Mm -hmm. So if you grouped autoimmune diseases together in one category and just called it autoimmune, it would many, many times be the most common cause of death and disease of Americans. But what happens, they break it down into type 1 diabetes and lupus and multiple sclerosis, so it gets pushed way down the list. Uh -huh. Now, if they did that with cancer and they said melanoma and bone cancer and you know lung cancer, it would be way down the list. Interesting. But they group cancer as one. They group heart disease as one. You know, if they said placking of this coronary artery and placking of that coronary artery, it would be way down the list. But they break autoimmune diseases down. If you grouped autoimmune diseases together, it would be tenfold the most common cause of death and disease in America. Hmm. And so if you stop and think about that for a second, what do we mean by autoimmune diseases? Just think about this. An autoimmune disease means that your own immune system has mistaken, mistakenly decided that part of your body should not be there and it begins to attack and kill it. So if your immune system says those thyroid cells, we need to go kill those. Those aren't part of us. You get Hashimoto's thyroid disease. If it says those joints, that cartilage in the joints, that's not part of us. Let's go attack it and kill it. You get rheumatoid arthritis. If it says those colon cells, let's go attack those. Those are, those are a disease. We need to attack those. You get Crohn's disease. Mm -hmm. If it says your pancreas cells, let's go attack those. You get type 1 diabetes. And in your nerves, you get multiple sclerosis. Now, if you if you grouped all of that together under one category of autoimmune diseases, it, this is a real problem in America that people aren't realizing is going on. And so our bodies are literally turning against itself at an alarming rate. Our bodies can't even detect what's us and what's not us anymore. And 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 this is a real problem. And so clearly the solution is not just having a strong immune system. But having a smart immune system, having your immune system that knows when to attack and when not to attack, when something's an allergy and when something's not an allergy, you know. To Do say, we have the power to control that? Well, we're starting to we're starting to get pretty smart whenever it comes to, you know, autoimmune and a big part of our functional medicine program. That's what it does is it tries to get your immune system to recognize, you know, what is you and what's not you. And so there are some pretty neat new things going out there about that. But, you know, to take I, someone... I, I actually think my immune system hates me. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I think it, it's I think just it decided it. you're just I a bad, yeah, bad person. It's not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, to say that... I hate you. It, 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 to you, me... I to, hate to, you. <laughs> you you. I hate you. To be able to say it, it, it... I guess I'm the only one that thinks that's strange for, for a human to say I'm allergic to grass. How is someone allergic to grass? You know, we've been around grass for eons. And so, or I'm allergic to trees. That should not be that way. You know, we've been in out in the outside for a long, long time. And so to say that part of that outside now our bodies... I worked bodies with a woman once who was allergic to wood. Yeah. Can you imagine being like, allergic to wood? No, I'm, yeah. I mean, I, I, I laughed at first because I thought she was joking. Yeah. And she said, no, I'm allergic to wood. Wow. Can you imagine being... Everything is wood. The house. Yeah. A yeah. house is wood. Right. And so the immune system is not supposed to just attack its parts for no reason. And so we're getting more and more research on uh, with our functional medicine program on how we can sort of get in and 
and start to get things turned around and, and, and get things trying to recognize and work right. But we now know that if you eat a diet that's high in omega-6 fatty acids, like the bad fats, you're going to have a very high rate of these inflammatory diseases that we call the itis diseases. So itis, if you look that up in the medical literature, means inflammation. And so arthritis, bronchitis, colitis, bursitis, dermatitis, all these itis diseases, mm -hmm. um, there's now a mountain of research that shows that civilizations that eat a diet very high in fish have much less, um, uh, remarkably less, incidences of these itis diseases. And so you look at the Inuit Indians or the Eskimos, and, and, and these civilizations, these sort of inflammatory diseases are almost non-existent. And the reason they are is because a big part of their diet is these are these omega-3 healthy fats. And they eat a very low amount of these unhealthy omega-6 inflammatory fats, which um, is a big. But clearly, part of the, Doc, they didn't know about the best stop and stuff. Yeah, they didn't know. No, so so and they don't have one there, right? So <laughs> yeah, um, and so what happens? They get they have a very low incidence of these inflammatory diseases. But the omega six diet of the Americans is very high in these inflammatory fats. What contains omega sixes? What kinds of things are you um, talking about? You know the the processed fats, like the mm -hmm. fats that come in, you know, donuts and um, packaged foods and chips and all of that is mm -hmm. is a really high in omega sixes. Um, omega threes are like more your avocados, your fish, your 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 olive oils, and um, and I'm guessing that's not required on the packaging. No, it's not. Of they just not. call it fats. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so these inflammatory diseases are something that that omega three fats literally sort of quench the fire of these inflammatory diseases that are going on in your in your body. So adding omega-3 uh, uh, to your diet, even if you take it in a pill form, is very, very good for these itis-type conditions. So when we get back from break, we're going to continue to get into this, and I'm going to tell you uh, a little bit more about these. So many people suffer with these itis diseases. I'm going to get a little bit more into this, and we're going to break these down, and I'm going to actually talk about what your body goes through to create these inflammatory diseases. And I, I think people will learn a little bit more about ways that they can get rid of these mm -hmm. itis diseases. I know there's a lot of our listeners that have these have one of these something that ends with mm -hmm. itis. Mm -hmm. and so stay tuned when we get back. We now have proof that omega-3 oils can put the brakes on an out-of-control immune system. So to kind of piece all this together, what we're saying with how your immune system and the healthy fats and all that comes together, um, your omega-3s can put the brakes on an out-of-control immune system, and it does this by slowing one of these inflammatory factors in your body called interleukin-1. Interleukin-1 is what your body releases whenever it goes into inflammation. I took PE with him in 1980. Yeah. 1980 <laughs> honest to God. You still keep in touch? <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh yeah, on Facebook. So what happens, healthy fats send a signal to your genes to slow down production of this inflammatory marker called interleukin-1. So instead of going to the medicine cabinet and grabbing a Tylenol or grabbing an Advil, go grab a fish oil. It, it, will, it will lower inflammation in your body, you don't need these Tylenols and Advils and all these things. And and, and did you really know? wait? So you're saying you're wait? Hold on. The stuff that I get that Nordic what is that stuff? No, that, Nordic Naturals. Yeah, Nordic Naturals that you suggested I get that I take every day. Correct. Uh, every day. Um, you're saying instead of when I have a headache, instead of running to get a tyl Tylenol or an Advil, Moj, whatever, you, you're saying go grab one of those? Well, yeah, and especially not so much a headache, but like your inflammatory, like joint pain, you know, joint in your, a uh, pain in your okay, hands, so pain, okay. arthritis type issues, okay. that, those kind of things. You know, if you have joint pain, instead of going and grabbing a Tylenol or an Advil for that, um, go grab a, a, some fish oil. Now, did you know that we're not even supposed to take these NSAIDs for more than 10 days? NSAID, just so everybody knows, NSAID is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. That's your uh, whole umbrella of Advil, Tylenol, um, Excedrins, Aleves. Mm -hmm. All of those are, are NSAIDs. You're not supposed to take those things for more than 10 days in a row in, in most cases. If you read the bottle, people think because they're over the counter, then they're harmless. Mm -hmm. But... These things can be very damaging on your liver and your kidneys. And so I have patients that have been taking them for years without stopping. And 
usually more than what the dosage says. You know, they think that the bottle says take three for not more than 10 days. Well, if three doesn't work, I'm going to take six and I can do that for a year and my kidneys won't, will be fine. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work that way. These things are very, very damaging on your liver and kidneys. In fact, a big percentage of the kidney dialysis is due to these overuse of these NSAID type drugs. And people ask me sometimes if investing in healthcare is a smart thing. If you want to invest in healthcare, invest in kidney dialysis machines because the, it, we're going to have a whole lot of that in the future with as much NSAIDs and, and, and overuse of these things that's going on. You know, kidney dialysis is going to be something that's very, very common if we don't get this under control. It's kind of sad, isn't it? It is, hmm. but you could do the very same thing with healthy fats and omega-3s, and they're so good for your body. People are just too stubborn to do it. But... Even topically applied, you know, Australian researchers reported that they had great success treating arthritis with a topically applied liniment made from flaxseed oil and alcohol, which the alcohol helps it penetrate, but the flaxseed oil is an omega-3 oil, kind of like olive oil. Mm -hmm. And so even the word liniment, you know, liniment is what you rub on something that hurts. It sounds so old-fashioned. It does, but it's derived, the word liniment is des derived from linseed, is how they got the word liniment. And linseed oil has been used for hundreds of years to hundreds of years to treat inflammation. Hmm. So linseed and flaxseed is the same thing, and both are omega three oils. So we literally have been using healthy fats to treat inflammation for centuries, and that's how the word liniment actually come about. And you know, even the Bible talks about healthy oils, and so um, healthy oils are very very good for us. Oil can heal us. And omega-3 healthy oils are super, super healthy. So just to recap, inflammatory diseases and autoimmune diseases are linked to a hyperactive immune system and these, quote, itis diseases. Current treatments like Advil, Tylenol, and NSAIDs ha can have serious side effects. And just because they're over-counter doesn't mean that they're harmless. And that doesn't mean that you can take them by the handfuls and everything's going to be okay. And if you add omega-3s to your diet, it will reduce your body's production of interleukin-1, which is an inflammatory marker. And so decrease your intake of omega-6 fats and increase your intake of healthy omega-3 fats. And, um, you know, we were talking uh, in the break. I always recommend about 3,000 milligrams of omega-3 uh, healthy oils a day. And um, uh, maybe a little more for uh, pregnant uh, pregnant women and breastfeeding moms, you know, maybe four to five. And so um, the neat thing about this, though, is these things taste great. You know, these are very filling. Um, we're not talking about having to eat kale and spinach. I mean, these are great foods. You know, your nuts, your avocados, you know, your fish, all these things are very, very good and very filling. Grass-fed beef. Grass-fed beef is actually loaded with omega-3 oils, healthy fats. And so, would it be something if, like, a, a box of thin mints said, The stuff in here is crap and will kill you? <laughs> like, on the front. Yeah. On the front. They would still eat it. Yeah. <laughs> you would still eat a box. Yeah. <laughs> thin mints, the way you love those yeah. things. But so, listen, it's up you to know, us. I, don't, guys. I just but don't like you today, they, do people. Why can't they I can't put get into you today? Omega 3s. Into some of these foods, because you know they put they put uh, whatever in cereal yeah. and they fortify milk. Why can't right. they? Because it's expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's the it's the mighty dollar, mm. right? These safflower oils and these cottonseed oils mm -hmm. and these really unhealthy fats are super cheap. Mm -hmm. And so you know we had a whole show on cottonseed oil. That's not even a food. Cotton is meant to make clothes with, and they crush the plant and put it in our. Food. It's not even a food. Cottonseed oil is not meant to be consumed. And so um, they, it's real unhealthy omega-6s, but they do that because it's very, very cheap. Mm -hmm. It would be expensive to put um, like an olive oil to use that fats in chips and those kind of things. It's kind of so, like taking the trash and making is. use of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Eesh. yeah. But you have to be willing to get involved in the future of your health. And the state of the healthcare system today, I keep telling people this, you need to take action and take control on ways you can make yourself disease free because it's not like it was, you know, 30 years ago where you can rely on the healthcare system to bail you out. Everybody needs to really do what they can and be willing to sit down with somebody and get involved with ways that you can change your future. And, um, um, you know, if, if, 
if you want to sit down and figure out a way that you can do that, that's what we do. I mean, we we take people's health and, and show them ways, real simple ways that they can turn their health around and, and, and get healthier. And so having a health coach is a real, real huge benefit. But, you know, the bottom line is eat more healthy fats and avoid less uh, un, uh, avoid uh, unhealthy fats. And you will be healthier and have less of these itis type diseases. And it's nice because the foods that you're suggesting we eat are are, are tasty. Mm hmm. Exactly. They're very good. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. All right. We done? We're done. Okay. Tell everybody uh, about you. Well, I mean, join, us on, and yeah, all. join us on Facebook at the Bright Wellness Institute, or um, you can look us up on the web. Or if you have any questions or concerns or you want to get a hold of us, my office number is 837-7174. And uh, I will see you guys next week. All right. Uh, Dr. Kevin, Wellness Wednesday, KTDY. Thanks.